cents. 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century, 100 soldiers serving under a centurion, 100 centimeters in a meter, quote unquote 100 legs on a centipede, and when we're dealing with temperature in centigrade, there are 100 degrees between the freezing point and boiling point of water. Literally, percent means out of 100, per 100. A lot of times, you probably have already seen in middle school and whatnot, converting from percents to fractions. It is sometimes good to look at a dollar bill to just get you an idea of 75 cents, three quarters. That's three fourths of a dollar. 50 cents, that's a half dollar. Very, very similarly. 75% is three fourths of something. 50% is half of something. 25% is a quarter of something. We call these benchmark fractions or benchmark percents because we should be able to, to have an idea of portion sizes. If I was to draw a picture, I should be able to picture this is a, this is a picture of my 75%, my three-quarter portion. This is a picture of representing half or 50%. This is a picture, half of a half, representing 25%. We should have those ideas, link those ideas in our mind. Alluded to this with the blanks, percents always need a reference, right? That's a big word, but a referent. It means that something that is referred to. All these things that I put in blue, those are reference. 60% does not actually mean anything until I attach it to a reference. That's why 60% of $150. 90 bucks, I think. And 60% of $2,000, which would be 1200 bucks. Two very different values, both of them represented by this 60%. Looking at this, saying 60% of $150 is very different from saying 60% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, which you might have heard in science class at some point. We're talking about percent of a region or a space at that point. Long story short, percents cannot stand alone. They have to have something that they refer to. It's always of something, percent of something. Basic percent formula Right here, this is what you're going to work with. What represents the whole? What represents one whole? That's our reference. Percent out of 100. So percent divided by 100 times the whole equals the portion. I'm going to hit you with some problems where I give you two out of these three words, and you have to figure out the third word. You might have a problem where you have to figure out the percent. You might have a problem where you have to figure out the whole. You might have to, the easiest to type with this setup is when you have to figure out the portion. You're going to need to read carefully. I'm going to show you two very basic, very simple examples that will illustrate why you need to be careful. The package should have six cookies. I only got four. Sad face. The package should have six cookies is my reference point. This is what should be. This represents one whole package. What percent of a package did I actually get? This is my portion. So we're looking at, if I wanted to solve for a percent in this situation, percent divided by 100 times 6, that's my whole, equals 4. That looks like an algebra problem that you have dealt with in algebra class. We got to get rid of the 6 and the 100. I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. We'll have P over 100 equals 4 over 6. I'm going to multiply by 100 on both sides. We're going to have P equals 4 over 6 times 100. In a calculator, all of that will go to 66% approximately. I only got 66% of my package less than 75 percent less than three quarters of what i was supposed to get that's that's the deal with my sad face very similar looking problem the package should have four cookies i got six very happy face i got extra cookies okay, same two numbers four and six but this time the reference what represents one full package is represented by four and the 
proportion, even though it's a bigger number, is represented by 6 because 4, 4 is a whole. Same kind of setup, p over 100 times 4 equals 6. This time, same kind of steps, but I get a very different answer. I think at the end of all this, at the end of all these calculations, I will find out that I have 150% of my cookies, all right? This should, and I asked about this when we talked about zoom percents. If you understood what it means to have a percent bigger than 100, it means I have more than one whole. I have, in this case, one and a half packages of cookies, basically. So percents are not limited to the range 0 to 100. They can go above 100. I could have 1,000 percents. That would mean I have 10 whole items, however we define our whole. A percent above 100 just means that my portion size is bigger than what represents one complete set or one whole. For all my for all my why why people <laughs> why 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 do we have to learn this percents are everywhere it you are very much handicapping yourself if you don't learn how to deal with percents and also you have to have to understand this idea of point of reference seventy percent off clearance sale sounds beautiful I'm only paying thirty percent of the cost but if I'm broke even paying thirty percent of a uh, item, even paying a cheaper amount, is maybe not in my budget. I can't just be buying stuff just because it says they're on sale, right? Let's say your battery is at 3%. You don't like that. Bad thing. You're about to run out of energy. In this case, though, hydrogen peroxide at 3%, that's pretty standard. And if it was at 43%, like that battery's actually at, if you had 43% solution of hydrogen peroxide, you're in trouble. You don't want to put it on your skin. So the value or the benefit or the goodness or badness of a percent is based on what the percent is referencing. That's your formula. I'm going to give you some tough situations to unwind, but ultimately, Every situation can boil down to this basic formula. Figure out what represents a percent in this situation, what represents a whole in this situation, what represents a portion in this situation. You are going to be given two out of the three and have to find the missing piece.